Now I can't see shit. This is better than nothing for the rain. <sighs> well, got this out of the rain. Well, <sighs> well, well, it's not pouring, but I've been out here long enough to get soaked, and I'm hearing thunder too, so, <sighs> and I hear biters in the distance. I'm gonna have to f move on and try to find a place to shelter somewhere. There's gotta be something around here somewhere. My head is all soaked. All right, I found this old shack after walking for an hour. This is good shelter, and you know what? The rain is good. It'll camouflage my sounds from the biters. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, but... Well, it's finally dark out. It's raining pretty hard out there. Thunder and lightning, everything which I don't care because if there are any biters out there, they can't hear me. I got a couple of soda bottles out there collecting water so that way I have something to drink when I go on the move again. This trip went pretty bad. This one it went pretty bad. All right, this cut I got right here. Uh, ran right into a branch of a tree while I was running from biters. I don't have anything to patch it up. thousands of them. Another car I got. I drove through a bunch of them. Eventually the car just couldn't push through anymore. So I bailed out, grabbed what I could, and I ran and I ran. Until I just couldn't run anymore. <clears throat> so I hid. Waited for a bunch of them to pass. I'm about 25-30 somewhere between 25-30 miles from my house. 
So for the night I broke into this house just to find some refuge. Some shelter and security. I have not seen anybody who is still alive. Nobody. I don't know if you can hear them out there, but I can. They're moving around out there. I don't want to keep this light on for long. I want to conserve the light and just make sure they don't see it. I don't know when I'll turn the camera on again. It's just been too crazy to even turn it on and I'm just at a loss for words these days. So, uh, I soaked in the bath for about an hour. I feel a lot better. <clears throat> oh God, this is starting to come through already. This is not, this is fine. <clears throat> okay, um, we're recording, we're still making history here. It's been two days since I finally made it back home. With all the chaos, I finally got to clean up patch myself up and eat and drink. Oh God, you had no idea how good it felt. Patched up the cut I had here on the side of my head. Oh my God, man, I'm telling you, like there were times when, you know, you know, the last car I had, it was broke down and no matter how many other cars I found, there was no keys and I couldn't jump start them or anything. And I had no choice but to proceed on foot with whatever I had left on me or whatever I was able to carry. I get into the woods and like here and there, one time after another, I'm bumping into to freaking hundreds of them out there. Like I'm telling you, they see and they hear me and they're coming at me. I mean, thank God they couldn't run. I mean, I just, I, I even though they can only walk and they don't run, I just bolt as fast as I could through the woods. And as soon as I like find a place to hide, I just, 
duck in and just stay quiet and just let them walk on by. And when one group walks on by, I lose them. I bump into another group of fighters. And it, like no, it's like no matter what I did, it's like they just... My God, it's just been so fucking crazy, man. And still, I have not seen another survivor, not one living soul out there. I mean, this is just goddamn crazy. I mean, there's not as many out there around here as there was before. I've, I'm sure they've moved on of, you know, whatever they've seen or heard. But I know there are survivors out there because I remember hearing those gunshots, like, you know, a while back. But I don't know. Maybe those people are dead by now. I mean, who the hell knows? I mean, who cares anyway? But anyway... I gotta reinforce the front door. Okay. Perimeter secure. All three doors reinforced. Windows two. Power still on. Yeah, so. Uh, I have about uh, 12, 13, maybe 14 packs of water bottles left, but I'm still filling up everything I can just in case. Um, got plenty of food left, canned food, um, non-perishables, whatever. Um, if you guys don't know what happened back at the shack that I was hiding out at, well, I got surprised and overrun by a bunch of biters. They just surrounded the shack, they were banging on it, and so there was one window that they didn't, you know, walk around to yet, so I smashed it and just climbed out of there and I ran and ran and ran. I just kept on running even though I needed to catch my breath so bad, but it was either die or just keep on running and running until you probably died of a heart attack anyway. Jesus Christ, man. So I finally find some civilization. I broke into one of the first houses I got near and I stayed there for the night and eventually all these biters just came passing on through. just been really crazy out there. I mean, haven't heard anything from friends or family. I mean, landlines are not working, neither are the cells. And emergency broadcast system is still on. Nobody's saying anything anymore. So, Even though this is what I've been doing to put these bastards down for good, I wanted to try an experiment, just to be sure. So, I go into my backyard, I hop a couple of fences, sneak down the street, I give one biter a round right in the throat, dead center, nothing. I gave him a full clip in the chest, nothing. I cut off both his legs, snapped his freaking spine. This son of a bitch is still crawling around like he didn't even know anything happened to him. But when you shoot him in the head, that's how you smoke them. That's how you put them down permanently. Go for the brain. Dead center. Right in the head, they go down. That's how you do it. So, I'm actually glad I did that. Went into the backyard a couple of blocks. When I fired that round, they all just scattered to that area. So, um, alright, so that's a good thing. No matter what, even if, even if you shoot them in the chest, no matter what, I'm starting to think if you cut off their freaking head, they're going to still be, like, trying to bite you if you put your hands by their mouths. So, yeah, there you go. So, what you see right here is all I have for protection right now. Just this. Most of my supplies, when I was on the road, got lost and left behind. I had uh, my automatic was lost, and uh, I had uh, one Desert Eagle... Uh, a 45 and a 38 and my axe all that was just lost that's gone for good pretty much um, in this 50 caliber box I have about six or seven different types of ammunition um, this will do for now <laughs> 